Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? How are you, Michael? I'm doing pretty well, Corey. I'm excited to track this this morning. Me too. The episode today is There is no truth in beauty? No, Question. it says is there in oh, is truth. That, uh, <laughs> it's is there in truth no beauty? You're right. It's, I wonder if that's a that might be a reference to something. Now that I'm reading it, yeah, I mean, it I, might be like a I feel poem, like, maybe a poem. I feel or like a, a, a lot of episode names are just poems. References or like we don't titles, know what they like, are. The stuff. I guess we could Google it, but I'm not going to right now them. because my phone is being used as the camera. True. We just go blind into these episodes. All right. But we do have breakfast. That's that's the one thing we prepare for these episodes. And today, I've prepared one of Yaz's delicious onion bagels. With some cream cheese and some sriracha rings. Rings of joy. Um, and I'm going to be eating this uh, focaccia. It is these, both of these things are from the bakery, La Bus, where we, we go often <clears throat> because it is so close and delicious. I'm also going to be eating leftover combos from last <laughs> night that my roommate did not uh, roommate Trong did not finish eating. Sometimes we come downstairs and there's just open snacks. combos. So I'll be eating these buffalo blue cheese combos to uh, as a side dish. Yeah. There he is. And we're joined by Trong too today. He's gonna be watching this episode with us. Alright, Sulu meters at four. Let's do it. Yeah we're gonna do it. Is there is there in truth no beauty? Is there in no in truth beauty? Yes. It's, it not, it's not a great title. <laughs> no? True? <laughs> beauty? Who knows? Well, there should be a comma somewhere. Is there yeah, yeah. in truth no beauty? They could have just been called no truth in beauty, maybe? Or tr whatever. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Alright. But I think it might be a reference to something, because on its own it sounds ridiculous. You uh, should have read this episode. <laughs> Oh, did we already did we say the number? It's season three, episode five, I think. Can you say that? I did not say that. I was thrown off by the weird thing. Captain's log, star date fifty six thirty point seven. We have been assigned to convey the Medusans ambassador to the Federation back to their home planet. While the thoughts of the Medusans are the most sublime. Peace and long life, Spark. Live long and prosper, Miranda. Like he's just wearing it around his neck this time. Just like that. Fun stuff. What do you think he has? Um, I guess I'll just, I, you know, I don't think I like it very much. No? Tell me why. I mean, it was fun. There were fun moments. Mm -hmm. Let's do a recap first. Or re-clap. Re-clap. Uh, so today's re-clap, they, um, the Enterprise takes aboard, uh, this woman and this guy and this box <laughs> and in the box is a being known as Kalos is that his name Kalos like Kalos I think it was Kalos it's not Carlos I didn't say Carlos it's like oh. Carlos oh, oh, oh no I think it's Kalos oh Kalos okay um, it's Kalos yeah you can take it from now yeah oh no I mean you can keep oh. recapping but yeah um, and the ambassador is in this box and he's just like either energy or, or he's some kind of just being that you know He's a um, being that most people cannot look at. This mm -hmm. woman, the woman uh, whose name I don't remember, can look at him. Miranda. Miranda, thank you. Miranda can look at him because she like studied years on Vulcan to like train her mind, and she's also a telepath, mm -hmm. and she's blind. Yeah, which is like a big reveal later in the episode. 
So they're having dinner. Things are awkward. It's hilarious. Then... Um, oh, yeah, I like... Let's talk about that a little bit. I did yeah. like that awkward... That was one of the... Uh, I, like, I didn't like this episode very much, but that scene, I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. I also like when they show the, the box. Uh, the box, it just looks like it's full of these trippy 60s, like, you know, imagery. It's, just, it's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, cool. the dinner. The dinner was... was what I liked funny. about the dinner was... Well, what happens at the dinner is that... Um, like Spock is wearing some Vulcan necklace and Miranda gets offended by it for some reason she thinks he's like kind of insulting her but then he's like no no I'm wearing it to honor you and then Kirk has to like try to awkwardly change the subject and it just felt very real and relatable it was like which oh. this show doesn't always do very well but that scene felt kind of like pretty natural and and it was like an interesting slice of life on the Enterprise which I liked yeah, yeah I was just noticing your Vulcan idiot Mr. Spock is it a reminder that, as a Vulcan, you can mind link with the Medusans far better than I could? Well, I doubt that Mr. Spock would don the most revered of all Vulcan symbols merely to annoy you, Dr. Jones. As a matter of fact, I wear it this evening to honor you, Doctor. Indeed. Yeah, it's very interesting. I might even say fascinating. But back to your mission. Um, and then... I mean, also during dinner, telepathically, she hears that someone wants to kill someone. So she's mm -hmm. like, oh, no. Um, then she goes to her room, and this guy, and the other guy who beams down with them named Larry, just like Larry shows up um, and just admits that he loves her, and she doesn't. And um, She just loves the box she loves being the box, the, Carlos. The, hip, the LSD box. Kalos. So. Yeah. And uh, she, um, he goes to hurt it, and it drives him insane. Um, all because you need to wear these goggles, these really hilarious, like, visor goggles when you look at this box. And he wasn't. And um, he goes mad. He goes insane. Um, yeah. Which, you know, I, I would say I felt a little bad for him. He I mean, yeah. kind of, like, driven insane by love and then goes actually insane by looking at this box and then mm -hmm. dies. Yeah. So you kind of feel, feel a little bad for him. Yeah. And when he dies, um, he says that, you know, don't love her. She'll kill you. And you're just like, oh. Well, see you later, Larry. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Yeah. Well, I will, what I did not like about this episode was that it felt like... Um, oh, wait, sorry. Let's finish the recap before I go into that. Uh, uh, so, there's not too much. So then it. Spock... Oh, they have to, like... Cause she, oh, Miranda is, like, very... Doesn't want Spock to, like, talk to Kalos at all. So she... Or Kalos. I don't remember. It's Kalos or Kalos. She doesn't want him to talk to it. So she... um. She, so Kirk like distracts her by going on a date with her, pretty much, which yeah. is it's just like the flower grabbing her shoulders. The Enterprise, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, a lot of sh shoulder grabbing um, in this episode. Of and course. then Spock uh, like mind melds with Kalos, and then he like, I guess, <laughs> which I didn't even notice. I will say I might have missed this. I guess they were lost trying to get somewhere. So then Spock, with the, Kalos's knowledge, can get them back to where they're going. Oh, and that's when we get some lines from Sulu. He was in this episode. Now it's episode five, and of course Sulu he went meter up is at episode. five. We look like idiots for even having one. He's definitely going to be a pinnacle character. I just think so. But yep, he'll just sit here and keep making us look hilarious. But yeah, he was there, um, and they um, Spock. Uh, they bring the box into the the, um, the control room, and they links with them, and they get them right out. They just go right out. And um, th then when they um, when he goes back to sw switch, because uh, with the box, he doesn't have the, the goggles on, and it drives him insane. And there's this this third person, like, like kind of people running at the camera. It's kind of funny. This episode did have a lot of, like, weird angles, like, shot yeah. camera angles that most episodes don't do. I don't know if they have a different director Must or something. Must have been, like, a guest director or something. It was they very did a lot of, lot of different, like, especially during the fights or, like, action sequences, like, over-the-shoulder shots during fights or, like, weird, like, from weird angles, like, up close. Yeah. Yeah, it ends with um, an epic mind melt between Miranda and Spock. It's pretty awesome. No, it was more like this. There's oh, yeah, they were like... Z and there was a lot of silly shots and a lot of, like, <laughs> fisheye shots of, like, you know, just, like, well, or, like, wide-angle shots of just mm -hmm. Miranda's face and stuff. It was very trippy and had, like, kind of, like, a, a 60s vibe. That's why I thought it was uh, at least high up on the hilarious meter for this. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah... But even other episodes are more more hilarious. Yeah, this one, this one was silly, but it didn't... It, you know, it definitely wasn't the best. Um, 
what bothered me a lot is that uh, it kind of, I don't know, it, I guess maybe this episode didn't age very well, and it does feel that way a lot on this show, especially with, you know, like, gender stuff and the way some of the characters, uh, but, like, mm -hmm. this episode, it really felt like all of the, everyone on the Enterprise was almost bullying this woman and being kind of, like, gross and weird to her. They were, like, I don't know, giving her a hard time for not, for spending all, for, for being in love with Kalos and yeah. not, like, being with a man, pretty much. Yeah, they were like, well, oh, like, oh, how could someone so beautiful not enjoy? Be and they kept like, I don't know. Yeah, they kept like trying to. Everyone was pretty much trying to flirt with her, and they kept talking about how great. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah. felt. It did feel a little weird. I mean, with the crazy episode name, though, I feel like it did have to have that kind of like beauty mm -hmm. and blah, who knows. Yeah, and it, I don't know. Kirk was just like yelling at her at her, at her at times, and it was just like grabbing her shoulders and yelling at her, and kept he kept doing that. I'll make you hear such ugliness that Spock saw when he looked at Collis with his naked eyes. The ugliness is within you. It's a lie! Lie! Don't him to see Collis's madness. You can never see. Never! Also, something that was really weird was when Larry was, a was around. Um, they had this little, like, repeating organ that was kind of funny. It was just, like, this weird wonky organ. And it was just like, what? A lot of decisions in oh. this episode were just like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> what were they doing? Um... So this episode did kind of have that that vibe, um, and I felt like it was definitely trying to do something more poetic and artistic. Yeah. Um, but you know, I also didn't like her very much. I didn't like the way they were treating her, but I also didn't like her. I thought she was. I don't know. It just it, she could have more dimensions. She was like, yeah. a lot of the a lot of the characters. And that way, I but. don't know. Kirk is just like the least professional captain ever. Like this is like his guest and stuff, and he just keeps like grabbing her, yelling yeah. at her, taking her on flower taking her on dates. Flower dates. I'm going to only give the episode a oh, review time. Let's rate it. I'm going to give the episode a two Fakashas out of five Fakashas. I was thinking the same thing, but I am going to give a half because I liked a lot of the the trippy imagery a lot, actually. I feel like that was, I, I always like when that happens. And I like that they tried to do something artistic. I think that that's funny. <laughs> so it gets, a, it gets a half. So two and a half bagels. Onion bagels Onion with bagels. veggie cream cheese. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. That's it. Good episode. Thank you, Sulu. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, fuck Star Wars. <laughs>